here we are looking at the probability of a union. It says let A and B be two events such that the probability of A is 0.2 and the probability of B is 0.28. Determine the probability of the union of A and B when A and B are independent and then determine that union when A and B are mutually exclusive and do not round your responses. So when A and B are independent events, we're going to use the, the addition formula for probability. And that formula states that the probability of the union of A and B is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of the intersection of A and B. So we know the probability of A and B. We don't know the probability of the intersection. But that's not too hard to figure out. The probability of the intersection of A and B is just the probability of A times the probability of B. So in this case, that's 0.2 times 0.28. So that equals 0 0.056. Now we can use this addition formula. So the probability of the union of A and B is the probability of A, that's 0.2, plus the probability of B, 0.28, minus 0 0.056, the probability of the intersection. And when you crunch the numbers on that, it should come out to 0.424. So that's the probability of the union of A and B when they're independent events. What about if they're mutually exclusive? What that means when they're mutually exclusive is that there is no intersection. So we can use the same formula again and just forget about that part. So that means the probability of the union of A and B is just the probability of A plus the probability of B, and that's 0.48. So that's a little bit of work with the probability of unions.